Hello all and welcome back to my channel. It's Lindsay and I am here with another jewelry video. Today I am going to be sharing some pieces I got from shopgoodwill.com, which are these beautiful rings here. I also have some more whatnot jewelry and I have some other pieces that I've shared before from DIY uh, jewelry boxes that I've cleaned and are going to discount today. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. This is the Shop Goodwill lot. I did see this and I really was interested in this ring here, which is um, like an opal inlay. So that's what prompted me to purchase this one. I am planning on keeping this ring, but the others I'm going to offer up for sale. They are all sterling silver. So we will go over those individually and I will size them and I'll put a price on the screen. If you are interested in making any purchases from the video today, I would just need you to send me an email. And we are going to use our numbers again. So if you can include the number and a brief description and the price of the item in your email, that would be very helpful. And if you've never bought from me before, please make sure you include your mailing address also, and I'll get you out of PayPal invoice. If you are new to my channel, again, my name's Lindsay. I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark, The Real Real, and here on YouTube. I normally post videos Mondays and Thursdays, but I do drop in bonus unboxings and sales. So make sure that you also hit the bell notification for me when you subscribe. And if you enjoy the video today, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. So we're gonna go through these rings first. They are all sterling silver. Um, I will acid test everything um, before I send it out to you, just to confirm, um, but uh, they were supposed to be done already. And I don't believe any of them are precious stones. Um, anything that appears diamondish, I think is just CZ. Um, it did state that in the listing. So we'll go through each of, each of the rings and see what we got. Um, first up is this very dainty Pandora ring with um, like an infinity knot. It is stamped Pandora on the inside as long as the, or as well as the 925 ALE. And I'll try to zoom in a little bit on that. I have it upside down. Um, there's the Pandora. And then over here you have the um, S925 ALE. So a really nice uh, stacking ring or just to wear on its own, very dainty. Um, this one is in good condition. It does show a bit of tarnish. I will be sending the rings as is, um, you know, so you can clean it to your preference if you desire. Um, but I know some people like the tarnish. Um, this one is coming in about eight and a quarter. So really nice, dainty Pandora ring. I will put a price on the screen for that beauty. So that's a great item. Next up, this one um, has kind of a gold appearance. So I'm thinking it was vermeil, but some of it is kind of worn away and you are seeing the silver coming through. Uh, but this is so cute. It is a heart-shaped stone and the, there are two clear rhinestones on the sides. Really pretty. And this one, let's see if it is marked. It is marked 925 um, right there. So I really like that one. The center stone is just gorgeous. And this one is coming in at six and a half. So really dainty ring. I will put a price on the screen for that one. Um, it is in good condition, just the gold wash is wearing away, uh, but it's still very pretty nonetheless. Next up, I have this awesome statement ring. Um, I don't know if that is, um, you know, possibly glass or just acrylic on that, um, but it is gorgeous and it is surrounded by a double layer halo of clear stones. And this one is marked China, and um, there is a 925 stamp in there as well. This one is DJE, and then um, the 925 is next to it. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. 
there we go. So this is a really pretty cocktail ring. And this is coming in um, just about a size eight. Absolute stunner. So that was a great piece as well. Next up, I have um, this one, which is really unique. And this kind of looks like an inlaid shell. That one definitely looks like a mother of pearl. I'm not sure what the colored ones are. Um, maybe a dyed shell, but a really cool ring. It definitely shows some tarnish, especially on the back. And this one is marked. I already forgot to use my numbers, guys. Um, so number one was the Pandora. Number two was the heart-shaped ring and the pink stone. And number three um, was the stunner. And this one does have a mark, but it's really faint and kind of worn off. So I will definitely um, test this one just like I will the others, but it's supposed to be sterling and it appears that way. Um, this one is coming in at a size about six and three quarter on that one. So super unique. I will put some info on the screen about that one. Definitely a statement piece. And that one is going to be number four. Next up, um, this one is gorgeous. I believe this is Labradorite. You can see the flash on there. And this does have like a hammered silver band on the wider side. This one is stamped. And um, you can see there the 925, and there is something on top of it. Let me see if I can make it out with the loop here. It's like it says Tim 925. So I will see if I can um, find out any information about that one. But it is definitely a beauty, and this one is on the larger side. This one is a size 11. So definitely could be a unisex ring. really special. So that one is going to be number five for the Labradorite. We have another stunner here. This is beautiful emerald green colored stones and clear stones. And they almost have like a black um, color underneath them. So it really gives it a lot of depth, really deep color. And this one is marked 925 right in there. Very unique ring. And there's the underneath. Absolutely stunning. And this one, all the stones are present, which is surprising because there are a lot there. And this one is coming in just above a size eight. So beautiful. I do love that one a lot and it fits really nice on the finger. That will be number six. Next up we have this one. And this stone, I imagine this ring needs a really good cleaning. I'm not sure what color the stone is really, but it's kind of like a smoke color. And then there are clear stones on the sides. And there's it underneath. I think it just needs a good cleaning. And this one is stamped. Um, it does have the 925 right in there. And this one is coming in at a size seven. So really nice. And that will be number seven, number seven for the size seven. And next up we have this ring, which has a lot of detailed metalwork on it, really pretty. 
And this one is marked um, on the inside there, 925. There is another mark next to it, but it's just like a symbol. I'm not sure exactly what that reads there. But it definitely is stamped with the 925. And this one is on the smaller side. It's coming in about a six and a half. really pretty and that one will be number eight next up we have this one and it is a crown and on the inside of it it is um, in, it is um, marked engraved on the inside and it says, fear is a liar. And I don't believe this one is marked 925. It only says the fear is a liar. It's really in very good condition. It looks almost brand new. And all of our stones are present there. Really gorgeous. This one is also on the larger size. It's coming in just over the 10. So a good variety of sizes in this lot. There's that on. So that will be number nine for the crown. And if I do find out that any are not sterling, I will definitely put that on the screen after I do the test. Next up, we have this evil eye ring. This one is unfortunately missing a stone there. Right there. And um, it looks like it is adjustable. And that one is marked 925. And that one is coming in just above a seven. So probably six and three quarter on that ring. Really nice blue center stone. And like I said, it is adjustable, but that's about where it's sitting now is the six and three quarter mark. And other than the missing stone, it looks to be in good condition. So that one will be number 10. Next up, I have this one. Really nice. It's a black center stone. And this one is signed. And is signed, and I believe it says H A N. H-A-N 925, and then maybe tie after it, or that. So the H-A-N is high alloy nickel, and then the 925. So really gorgeous ring. All of the stones are there. And in really good condition. And this one is coming in at a size six. Absolutely stunning. I really like that one. I may keep that one too if it doesn't sell. Beautiful. That is number 11. And just two more here. This one definitely shows a lot of tarnish. Um, but there is a lot of silver here. It is weighty. Um, it is stamped 925 on the inside. No other signatures other than the 925 on that. And this one is also coming in about a size 6, just slightly shy of a 6. So a really nice one. And that will be number 12. And our last item here is this one, another simple kind of wavy pattern. 
And this one is also marked on the inside, the 925. This one is a little bit um, lighter weight than the last one. It's coming in about eight and a quarter. Very simple. And again, in good condition, just shows a little bit of tarnish. Uh, that will be number 13. So I think this was a great lot. Um, there was a nice variety of sizes and different colors. So I'm pretty pleased with this one. Let me know what your thoughts are about it. I do enjoy dabbling in the shop Goodwill. You can get some great deals and some really nice lots. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this cleaned up and then we will move on to the next set of jewelry. All right, let's continue on. Um, next up, I have a jewelry set from Daisy Fuentes. This is brand new in the box, um, definitely in giftable condition. You get a set of post back earrings and two necklaces that are um, for layering. And it is in a rose gold and then there is a rhinestone butterfly. And um, brand new in the box. I don't know what the original um, retail was on this, but we will do um, $5 for the set and that will be number 14. And I do have another one, another one of these, which will be number 15. This one is only going to be $3 um, because the earrings got a bit messed up. I think they possibly melted and the earrings are a little bit sticky and some of the coating is coming off. But the necklace and, um, or both necklaces, I should say, um, seem to be in good shape. So we'll do $3 for that one. Um, and that will be number 13. And sorry, those were out of order. So 14 for the um, perfect condition one and 13 um, on that one. So they were five and three. Up, I have this unbranded multi-layer necklace. Um, just acrylic kind of faux stones and pink, blue, and cream color on silver tone metal. And it does have a lobster clasp. And that one will be number 15, and that will be $3. Next up, I do have this acrylic bracelet. It is gold tone and has pink stones that kind of look like um, gumdrops. And this is a J. Crew style, but it is unsigned. Uh, there is a little bit of wear on the metal, but overall in pretty good condition. Um, again, just acrylic on that. Um, we'll do $2 on that one. That was number 16 for the J. Crew style bracelet. Next up, I just have some fashion earrings. These are um, hot pink drop earrings, uh, gold tone and clear rhinestone. We will do um, $3 on these, brand new on the card, number 18. Number 19, are these really fun ones? They're in a beautiful teal color with AB coated rhinestones and gold tone metal. Super cute, um, they are pretty lightweight. Um, we will do $3 on those. And that is number 19. And next I have these ones, um, really pretty statement drop earrings. They do have a heart-shaped rhinestone on the post back. And they're kind of like a champagne colored um, rhinestone and gold tone metal. There's the back on those. Um, those will be $3 and number 20. Really pretty. Next up, I have some stud earrings, and these are like a cluster rhinestone floral, and these are in a beautiful green color, and that will be number 22 for $2. Yellow, which are absolutely stunning, $2, number 23. 
Number 24, I have them in purple. $2 for number 24, the purple. And number 25, I have them in pink. So $2 for 25. Great, um, those would make awesome gifts as well. Number 26, I have these clown drop earrings um, with a lever, lever back and these are sterling silver. Really lightweight, they do show a little bit of wear. But they are um, tested and marked. There's the 925 there. Um, we'll do $5 on the clowns and that is number 26. Next up, I have some bracelets here. First up are these um, stretch band and they're kind of like a pink moon glow with silver tone. These do show a little bit of wear, but overall they're in pretty good shape. So we'll do both of those for $2 and that will be number 27. Number 28, I have these that are kind of fall toned memory wire bracelets. Um, just acrylic stones, but really pretty um, amber tones, orange and browns, really nice. And then I have this larger one that is red, yellow, orange, and greens, really beautiful for fall. So um, you'll get both of those for $3, and that will be number 28. Number 29, I have this faux pearl and gold tone stretch bracelet, and there are little charms on it with flower, um, a heart, a rhinestone, um, little ball, super pretty. Um, on that one, we will do $2. Um, these are just acrylic, um, but really pretty. That will be number 29 for $2. Number 30, I have this stretch bracelet. Again, it is acrylic, but it does have Texas themed little charms on it. Really sweet and in very good condition. On that one, we'll do $2 and that is number 30. Number 31, I have this cuff bracelet. And again, it's kind of that pink moon glow on silver tone metal and uh, this is in very good condition. And it is a little bit pliable, and on the mandrel, it is currently sitting um, about a seven, but you can definitely make it larger or smaller. That's how it looks like on, really pretty. We'll do $3 on that one, and that is number 31. So number 31, the cuff bracelet. Next up, I have these two um, memory wire bracelets. This one is kind of like a mystic topaz, really pretty. Um, and this one also has kind of that peacock colored beads. Um, so we'll do both of those for $2 and that is number 32. Number 33, I have this clear rhinestone stretch bracelet in very good condition. It's clear rhinestones and faux pearls and all of the stones are present. There is no maker on it, um, but it is in good condition. We will do $3 on that, number 33. Number 34, we just have this really dainty memory wire bracelet with pink stones, um, really lightweight. That will be number 34 for $2. Next, I have some more memory wire, and these are all faux pearl. This is um, faux pearl and clear rhinestone, and this one is just simply the faux pearls. So we will do both of those for $2, and that will be number 35. I have some charm bracelets here, and I believe these are glass beads. This one does have a flamingo. This one is missing a charm on it. And it has a sandal and a bird. So still really pretty, but it is missing one charm. It does have the large clasp on there with the heart. Um, we'll just do $3 on that one since it's missing a charm. And that will be number 36 for the Florida themed one. Thank you. 
Number 37, I think these are acrylic and it does have a crown on it and just like a plain spacer bead. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Silver tone. And then it does have a heart little hang tag and the large clasp on it. Um, we'll do $2 on that one and that is number 37. Next, I have um, one with a lobster clasp there, and I think these are glass beads. There's black and white, and they do have a peace symbol and a heart, and um, another kind of square one with uh, peace symbols. Really pretty, we'll do $3 on that one, and that is number 38. Next up, this is another one with a large heart clasp. And this one is showing a little bit of tarnish and wear um, on those little beads there. But overall, really cute. Um, it's got black and silver and then the dangling hearts. So on that one, we'll do $3. It'll be number 39. Next, I think these are just acrylic beads and silver tone. And it has a really neat clasp on it. Um, on this, we will do $3. And that is going to be number 40. So uh, $3 on that one. And if you guys need a measurement on anything, just let me know. And just two more bracelets here. This one is Claire's and it does have a long extender on it with a lobster clasp. It is signed. And this one is showing some wear, but it's super cute. It has London theme char charms on it. There's a double decker bus. There is the um, Britain, British flag, um, a taxi, Big Ben, super cute. Um, we'll do $2 on that one and that will be number 41. And our last item from this lot is a Disney bracelet and it has the Cinderella castle on it and it says Disney China and we will do two dollars on that one and that is number 42. Next up I have this beautiful Chico's necklace and it is brand new with the tag. It is a hammered silver tone and a gorgeous shell on the center of the pendant and it does have these little spacer beads that move around and it is on a shimmery um, dusty pink cord. Absolutely beautiful. There is just a little spot on the cord there that may come off. And there's your Chico's. It has a lobster clasp with extender, um, an original price of $30. It's a shell shine. So we will do $10 on the Chico's necklace and that is number 43. Next up, I have a Brighton bracelet. I have never showed this one before. Um, it is marked Brighton on there, and it is a fold over clasp. It is a two tone metal. I don't believe it's reversible though. I think the silver tone goes down and then the top is the gold tone. This is in really nice condition. Um, just a little bit of wear on the clasp portion, but overall very good condition. And this one is sitting at a size seven. I will put a price on the screen um, for that one, but really nice Brighton piece. And that will be number 44. I have another Brighton bracelet here. This is a toggle clasp. And it has rectangular um, beads on it. There is some wear and marks on the metal. So I don't know if that could be cleaned up a little bit, but it is showing signs of use. And it does have the hearts on the back. Where it's sitting right now, um, that is coming in at a size seven. On this one, let's just do $8 because it is showing quite a bit of wear and that is going to be number 45. 
So while we have the Brighton out, I'm going to bring out a few other Brighton pieces. These items I have shown before, but I did clean them. They did come in a DIY um, jewelry box, but did not sell. So I need to clean them up and we'll drop the price a little bit from where I had them before and see if we can sell some of them today. First up is this one and it is a mixed metal. Um, it's silver on that side and this one is rimmed in gold tone. And it does show a little bit of wear, but overall good condition. The chain is in good shape on this one. Um, it does have an extender. And there's your Brighton B. So I think I had this listed at either 12 or 15. Um, let's drop it down to $10. So a really basic piece and in very good condition. That will be number 46. Next up, I have a dainty layering necklace. And this one is in very good condition. Um, I think most of the tarnish came off of it. And it does have a extender. This would be a good layering piece. There's the Brighton B. We'll just do $5 on that one. And that is number 47. I have another plain one. This one you could definitely put a pendant on or just wear it plain. There's a little bit of wear on the chain, but nothing too bad. Just some areas of darkening. There's your lobster clasp and the Brighton B. Um, we will do $4 on that one. That one is showing a little bit more wear and that will be number 48. Number 49, I have this long station necklace and there are these kind of knot patterns and they have rhinestones on them and they are, are double-sided and there's rhinestones on both sides. And then there is a little rhinestone kind of station beads. Really good condition on this one. Um, it did clean up really nicely. There's a Brighton B lobster class, but is a long necklace. Um, let's do um, $12 on that one. I probably had it listed between 15 and 20. So we'll do $12 on that and that will be number 49. Next up I have this one and this is a mother of pearl um, pendant with a silver tone pendant on top of it. And this necklace is showing quite a bit of wear on the chain. Um, definitely a lot of darkening on there. I don't know if that could be cleaned up better or not. Um, the pendants are in good shape, but just the wear on the chain. So on this one, um, we'll drop it down to $6. And that will be number 50. Next up, I do have this charm bracelet. And there are silver charms, and I think these are just acrylic um, beads. There's pink, purple, blues, and green. This one's in really nice shape. It does show a little bit of light wear, um, but really pretty colors on it. That one is sitting about a seven and three quarter, um, but you really could attach it on a smaller ring that is at the largest size. And I think I had this one at 15, so we'll drop that one down to 10, and that will be number 51. And our last Brighton piece is another charm bracelet. And this is a religious themed one with some different crosses on there. This one does show some wear, but overall it cleaned up pretty well. There is your 
clasp. This one does not have the Brighton B, so it may have come off, but it has the heart clasp on it. That one is sitting uh, in also about seven and three quarter, and we will do $10 on that one as well, and that is number 52. So that was my last Brighton piece. I'm gonna get this cleaned up, and then we'll bring out the next items. Next, I have this stunner. This is a Talbot's necklace with acrylic flowers. And I got this in a DIY box, but it was really dirty. I did clean it up. Um, it's kind of like a beige color um, on the flowers. And then there are some little rhinestones on the center. And it is silver tone metal. There is your Talbot's hang tag. I think this might be an older piece. Just shows a little bit of wear on the back, but overall really nice condition. On this one we'll do $6 and that will be number 53. And coming up, I have some more J. Crew stunners for you. First up we have this stunner, absolutely gorgeous. So all of the stones are there. They are really sparkly, clear rhinestones. And there are some little rhinestones around the flowers. And this is gold tone metal, but the chain is now all silver. But it looks nice and shiny. Um, somebody had probably cleaned it and it did take all the gold tone off, but it's very even and looks good. Um, it does have the lobster clasp and extender. There is the J. Crew hang tag, um, but it is silver, and then you are seeing the gold tone jump rings on the necklace and the gold tone back, but still really beautiful condition. And this one is going to be number 54. Number 55, we have this one. Really pretty greens, yellows, and blue with the clear rhinestones and gold tone. And all of our stones are there. These ones are kind of like a bluish gray. And then um, like a yellow and green. Really cool color combo. And the back of the necklace is super nice and um, really just gently used on this one. The chain is in good condition. It has the lobster clasp and the hang tag for J. Crew. So definitely a beautiful piece that would transition nicely into fall. That will be number 55. 56, we have this one with some mint green stones and clear rhinestones. I really love this one. So pretty, gold tone, and all of our stones are present. Absolutely stunning. This one also has a lobster clasp. There is a little bit of wear back there by the clasp, but overall the chain is in good shape, just some wear, kind of more in the back where it was around the neck. And there is your J. Crew hang tag there. And the back of the pendants look really nice. Stunning. That one will be number 56. Number 57, we have this beauty. It is um, navy blue acrylic stones and then blue rhinestones. Absolutely gorgeous. This one does have a clear stone there. It was either replaced or maybe the color has faded on it, but there's a couple stones that look a little bit more clear than blue. So the center one and that one, and maybe that one too. So it kind of seems maybe the color just wore away on those stones but still absolutely stunning. This one does have the Senorita clasp and the J. Crew. 
The chain is in good condition, but there is some color loss along the chain. So it is looking a little bit silver. And the back of the necklace is in good condition. I think this might be an older piece, but still absolutely beautiful. And that one will be number 58. Number 59, um, this is more of a simple one. It is a long, silky, gold tone cord. And it does have these beads that slide around on there. Uh, lobster clasp with the J Crew. This one is really in new condition. And then it hangs down into this gorgeous pendant with clear rhinestones. And then the uh, back is like a black plastic over the metal. Really interesting, beautiful piece. And this one will be number 59. Number 60, I have this one. It is silver tone with gold tone and like a turquoise colored little cabochons on there. There is some scratching, but it kind of looks natural, more of a distressed look with a gold tone chain and that's in good condition. Lobster clasp with your hang tag. And the back is in pretty good shape as well. Um, very interesting piece. Definitely gives like a Madewell um, type of look. So that one will be number 60. And I think we have just two more in here. And it is brand new with the tag, J. Crew, And it is gold tone with these blue acrylic faceted beads. So a long station necklace really lightweight but absolutely stunning it does have the senorita clasp and the j crew and that piece will be number 61 and our last item is this one and i thought this was so pretty it does have kind of asymmetrical rhinestone pendants there that are different shapes. Really stunning. And all of the stones are there in really nice condition. And the chain looks pretty good too. It does have the lobster clasp and the J. Crew hang tag. And just really gently used on the back, no major wear, but just really cool different shapes and different uh, uses of stones on this one. So very unique and just absolutely stunning. And that number will be number 62. And I think that will be the last item for this video. It was getting a little bit long, so I will incorporate some of the other finds into the next video. Um, so again, if you see anything that you're interested in, just shoot me an email. I will be sharing a thread up, um, mixed jewelry box tomorrow. So we can combine shipping if there is anything that you would like to add from that video with this order. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of the night. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out. And I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video.